Hi, I'm David Sanchez. I'm the CEO and founder of Ten Management. We are a model and talent agency here in Chicago. So Ten Management is a model and talent agency. We represent models both in the fashion and lifestyle space, social media influencers, and actors. And then as well, we have a small artist board, which is hair, makeup, wardrobe, stylists. We have about 300 talent that are national, and we book globally all over the world. We uh, have left behind any normal paradigms of what potential old fashioned agencies are still representing. So our competitors are still saying a talent has to be this size, this height, this weight. We don't believe in that. We really get to know our clients whom are booking our talent so we understand their needs versus when you're at a higher sort of global agency. It's just literally let's throw everybody on a wall and see who sticks. A few things that have really changed the industry is social media. So if we really want to break that down, social media has really enabled the client to reach to you directly, to book you directly. So they're saying, hey, I'll give you this free shirt and I want you to post it to your 100,000 social media followers. And so that's really changed the relationship of how advertisers are trying to reach talent. And so we've done an excellent job and I feel our, our I feel a leader in the marketplace against our competitors whom are national agencies and global agencies because we have an influencer board that are true influencers. Our influencer profile is a, region, a regionally or nationally based pro, uh, micro influencer between 10 and 70,000 followers in the lifestyle, fashion, and entertainment space. And so they speak a very specific language. We're able to prove their metrics and they're not too expensive. But the challenging part about social media is it's enabling anybody to think that they can be in this business. This business is exclusive and that can be controversial to say. So when a client, a national client such as Target or Nordstrom's or Kohl's is coming to us, they are getting an excellent high rated talent that have been vetted by us, trained, and they know what they're doing when they show up to set. Personal branding matters so much in the talent and modeling entertainment space for a variety of reasons. I've learned to communicate three pillars within that personal brand and we need to communicate those brand, those brand elements quickly. And so it could just be, uh, for me, it's, uh, it's entrepreneurship, creative, and talent agency or within that space that I really care about. My personal mission I've developed over the course of my entrepreneurial life is to further creative economic activity within my world and so that's why I teach college classes that's why I help incubate uh, local brands here in Chicago that's why I help nurture and grow about 300 talent businesses at my agency because I care about the fundamental creative arts and I want to grow that that relationship and economic power within that community and so I think if you can have that foundation of your own personal mission statement and that value system that's really important as agents our jobs are very specific we are, uh, a, a talent agent is a life coach, a salesperson, they have to be very creative, they have to understand legal and negotiating, we have to be a travel agent, so we are doing so many functions, but we observe, because we need to observe trends in the marketplace, and just because something's a trend, doesn't necessarily mean we have to give it life. And so I think social media has, coming back to that social media is really, is, is can be very trend driven and so for us we have to be really attuned to what our core business model is. So an advice I would give my 18 year old self is to relax and really trust my path. I had started my company because I had started modeling 21 years ago and so I've had the perspective of traveling internationally, being at big agencies all over the world and I had worked at two agencies who are now my competitors and one was a large agency, one was a small agency and they both were horrible on the inside. So I knew that I could do the job better and I have a very specific viewpoint on my perspective of managing people and the process and so I didn't see that at other agencies and so when I first started my company I, I applied I knew I had value in the marketplace because I had that highest professional standard. And so, at least for me when I was 18, I, I knew I wanted to be on my own, I just didn't know how to get there. And so, I think just really telling myself to trust myself in that space and recognize I didn't have to have all the answers in that moment.